Hello guys and welcome to yet another video log. It's now two weeks till the basketing day from uh, St. Vincent, the first national race that we have. Uh, I'm currently about nine kilometers from uh, my home, from the loft. Uh, and uh, as you can see by the amount of baskets over here, I've uh, packed up my youngsters. Uh, for their first toss, the first uh, first toss that I did was about five kilometers from home. Um, the birds uh, went up very high, and it took about 90 minutes before the first bird arrived at, at home. Uh, at that moment, I had to go. And an hour later, 64 uh, arrived home, and the remaining uh, birds just came one by one uh, during the day. Uh, at this moment we have uh, 82 youngsters left uh, and uh, they're up for their third toss uh, like I told you the second toss uh, also was at uh, five kilometers from the same release point uh, but that way at time they arrived all but one at the same time uh, also the last one uh, came home but it arrived uh, during the day I do not know exactly when so uh, now the third toss before tossing birds I uh, put them in the basket the first time uh, and leave them a whole weekend in the basket with drinking and feeding them so they get can get used to the basket so a lot uh, of less stress for the birds uh, and also getting used to drinking in the basket which is uh, I think very important to learn that to the youngsters. I already did that when I was a young bird years ago and uh, now also uh, just doing that to uh, give the birds all the preparation that they can possibly have. Um, I'm waiting to uh, release them in about five minutes. Uh, they have been here, so now set for ten minutes. I've also put on uh, drinking uh, water to the to the basket, so if they are thirsty, they can drink at the moment. It's in the morning now, uh, about uh, half past nine. Uh, the sun is uh, is up. As you can see, the weather is also quite nice. Um, there are a couple of clouds on, on the sky, but uh, actually that, that's the way I like it. I do not like to toss the birds uh, in a clear blue sky. Now back to the old birds. Uh, the birds had a race from 410 kilometers past weekend, a training race of course. Uh, the wind and, uh, was uh, northwest. Uh, temperature was okay, but still it was a very nasty race. A lot of the birds arrived wet, uh, at home wet. Uh, so um, this morning, uh, it was the first morning training, but they didn't want to go out and they only trained for about 30 minutes. Uh, I expect them to go longer uh, in the morning, uh, now every day. Uh, upcoming weekend there is the last training race for the birds. It will be about 250 kilometers. The weather forecasts are, are well at the moment, so hopefully it stays this way. Uh, in total the birds will have almost 2,000 training kilometers uh, before uh, the first national race from St. Vincent. Uh, also last week, so not this weekend, but the weekend before, they had uh, the same race, 410 kilometers. The, the birds arrived home very well. Uh, my intended first nominated for uh, Poe arrived first and my intended first nominated for St. Vincent, St. Vincent uh, arrived second. So I was very happy with that, of course. Uh, so they've had uh, flights up to 410 kilometers, no, no further. I did that for the first time last year and uh, I was very happy with the results. So not a one day long distance race for the birds. So only uh, 410 kilometers. Uh, like I told you, the last race will be 250 kilometers, not too much. Uh, I like them to uh, have an easy race uh, the last time before. Uh, they will get in the great basket with the province. Um, of course, uh, training will continue during home and also I will toss the birds at least once a week, up 80 kilometers. And that way we're going to prepare them for St. Vincent. Now up with the youngsters. The youngsters, like I told you, it's the third toss. At this moment, they're training at home for 90 minutes. Uh, they're doing very well. It's been a long time since they've done this well. I don't know why exactly, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, last year I had a very difficult young bird season. 
Uh, I also bred 80 youngsters, but I ended up with only 28, so way too, uh, too low on that mount. Uh, hopefully this year will be better because I really need uh, need the flesh ply yearlings for next year. So we're going to release them now and uh, later on in this video log I will also tell you something about the feeding and uh, not only the youngsters but also the old birds. Uh, as a result for the last floor, uh, video log I got some questions uh, for how I feed them exactly the old birds especially during racing of uh, up feeding to a race so I will show you uh, when uh, later on in this video log enjoy the liberation of the youngsters So guys welcome back uh, like I told you uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the feeding that I use uh, also I'm going to show you how I prepare the mixture of uh, penis cheese and, and goat fat sheep fat sorry um, so uh, a base mix of course is, is, is the Copa mixture is the mixture like this that I always use um, it's, I've showed it a, a few times uh, but it's it's a really a variety mixture uh, it's got more than 25 seeds and grains in it, so uh, I use it all year through. Um, but now we are uh, a week before basketing for the National Race from St. Vincent. Uh, it's now Tuesday and next week, Tuesday, we are going to basket, uh, which means we have to prepare them for a race. Um, you can do it on, on a regular Coma mixture. Uh, I've tried it before, it's, po it's possible, uh, but uh, bef because uh, once St. Vincent is 1000 kilometers from home, uh, I like to give them a, a little bit extra, a little bit extra fat. You know a bird flies, their, uh, flies its race on fat, uh, the first hour, one hour and a half it can do on carbon dihydrates, uh, but the second and way, uh, way many hours after that uh, they burn fat. So um, this mixture, the Copma mixture, it has a reasonable amount of fat, so it's good from that point. Uh, but what I also do is the last three days, I give uh, this mixture, it's the premium super energy for also from Bayer's. As you can see, it's a, a very a, a mixture that's rich on fats. Uh, it got soya beans in it, it got, it got uh, pits of the sunflower in it also some cardi as i can see so uh, it has about 28 percentage of fat if i'm correct just look at the two uh no 22 uh, percentage uh, of fat so it's about uh double the what it would the normal mixture has um i'm going to use this the last three days so uh, when basketing on a tuesday we are going to start this on uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday, uh, the percentage is uh, about 75% Copman mixture and 25% of the Super Energy mixture. And the days uh, that are following, so um, Monday and Tuesday, uh, the mixture will be 50-50. So 50% of the Copman mixture and 50% of the Super Energy mixture. And what I also give them uh, on uh, uh, Mondays uh, when the basket is on Tuesday and on Sundays when the uh, basketing is on uh, Monday is a mixture of peanuts, uh, cheese and, and sheep fat. Um, I like to make it very easy for myself. I just get, get peanuts from, uh, from the grocery store. So uh, unsalted peanuts, of course. 
uh, you do not want to add, uh, add a lot of salt to the diet of the birds. They get enough salt with, with the mineral mixtures that they uh, get regularly. So um, what I do is uh, I use, uh, I use a shredder, a blender. I don't know how it's exactly called in, uh, in English. I think it's called a chopper. Uh, so uh, what I do, I'm going to put the half of the peanuts, it's about 20, 250 grams of peanuts uh, in it, so like this. Then I'm going to add the cheese, I've already cut the cheese. Uh, it's about 70% uh, peanuts, 20% cheese and 10% uh, of sheep fat. So that will be more than enough and a little bit of sheep fat. This is deep frozen sheep fat. I get this from a local pet store. Uh, I'm quite sure you can get it everywhere in local pet stores. Then we add it with the rest of the peanuts. Like this, all peanuts out. Just enter the lid. And this is going to make a lot of noise, but uh, I'm sorry for that. You can make this mixture uh, as, as fine as you want. I like to have a, a few uh, bigger spot uh, pieces of peanuts in it like this you can see it's uh, it's it feels fatty uh, it's not completely dry uh, if 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 you add too much cheese or too much sheep fat it will be it will get very sticky I, I don't want that so I would like to give it like this as you can see there are still uh, a few large parts of peanuts in it and, and this is, is the way that I, I give it. I give it uh, to the birds after feeding the regular mix. I'm going to put this in a nesting bowl on the, on, the, on the floor of the loft and they will eat it because they really, really like it. Uh, the first time, of course, is always a little bit uh, trying for the birds, so they will not eat it a lot. Uh, this is why I'm doing this uh, the week before basketing for the first time. That's today uh, and next week, uh, of course, on uh, the day before the day of basketing. Uh, but then they will have uh, noticed it. They will know how it tastes and uh, believe me, they, they will love it for you. So that's the feeding system that I use. It's, it, it's quite easy. Uh, still, the Copeman base mix uh, lasts uh, six meals uh, at uh, the, the super energy feed. And on the day before the day of basketing, uh, we add the mixture of peanuts with cheese and sheep fat. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.